Good morning to everyone. Good morning to you in cyberspace. Good morning to those of you that will stop in and continue on with your day. I want to say have a good God morning. Go with God. And he will go with you. The word of the Lord says this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad. Good morning, Sister Terrilene. Good morning, Sister Charlotte. Good morning, Sister Doris. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Magna. Good morning, Dr. Angela. Good to see you. Good morning, Sister Cynthia. Good morning, Sister Sharon. God bless you. And to all of the intercessors, amen. Good morning, Sister Lisa. Good morning, Sister Kim. Good morning, Sister Elma. Good morning, Sister Teresa. Good morning, Sister Janelle. Good morning, Sister Ada, Sister Kiana. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Lorette. Sister Lauren, good morning. Good morning, Lady Susan. Good morning, Sister Janice. Good morning, Sister Evelyn. Good morning, Sister Robin. Good morning, Sister Jessie. Good morning, Sister Debbie. Good morning, Sister Denise. Sister Tanya, good morning. Sister Evelyn, good morning. Good morning. Mary, good to see you. Good morning, Pastor Stephanie. Good morning, Sister Lorraine. Good morning, Sister Gigi. Good morning, Sister Wanda. Good morning, Sister Dewana. Amen. Good morning, Sister Erica. Sister Valerie, good morning. Good. Speaking to the intercessors, we have become a little family, and our family is growing. Amen. Good morning, Sister Chaniqua. Good morning, Sister Katrina. Good morning, Sister Teresa. Amen. Good morning, Sister Monica. Sister Wanda. Amen. Yes, I got my war clothes on. We ready to war. Where I feel a war in spirit. A war in spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Sister Rudy Ann. Sister Khalees. Sister Patty. Sister Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning for coming in and good morning to all of you. Sister Lynn, Mother Lynn Phillips, good morning. It's good to see you on this morning. Good to see you on this morning. I want us as we are coming in, as we always do, to position ourselves to war with our hands and with our fingers, fighting strategically in cyberspace and not only in cyberspace, but we are warring for to, to keep the victory in our lives. We are commanding, we are directing, and we are prophesying. Good morning, Sister Catherine and Sister Tabitha. I'm so glad to hear, Sister Tabitha, your mother, your father is doing better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you, Sister Dewana. There's something about this day that we feel in the spirit and we're getting ready to, whichever way it goes, we're going to be prepared to move in it or to stand in it. In the name of Jesus. Good morning, Jimmy. Good morning, Sister Cheryl. Good morning, Sister Daphne. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're warring, keeping the victory. Keeping the victory in our own lives and declaring the victory in the lives of others. Yes, yes, yes. I believe we're able to do that because the word of the Lord declares that um, when Paul and Silas were in, were locked in jail. Remember the Bible says they prayed and they sang praises unto God. And then what was the result? The result was that everybody's bands were loose. And I know we've said this before, but I want us to be conscious of the fact that our prayer and our praise, our worship affects somebody else. I believe that the negative spirits, even when we look in the life of David and Saul, the Bible says that as David played, Saul's spirit was calmed. His spirit was changed. And I believe that as we pray and as we praise in the atmosphere, I believe that there's going to be some calm. Mm -hmm. I believe there's going to be some calm in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, in the name of, I declare that there will be peace 
in the atmosphere. And that peace is based upon, is dependent also upon when we open our mouths, when we open our mouths and do we declare, the Bible declares that there is the power of death and life are in the tongue. And we speak life this morning. We speak life not only in the atmosphere for uh, the world or the environment, but we speak it in our lives. Good morning, Sister Trina, in the name of Jesus. We declare what the Bible says from the book of First John, it says, and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. I am decreeing in the name of Jesus in this morning that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways. I wanna share with you um, just a little bit of what God has shared with me just before we bring on our um, our special guest, our young person who is a prayer warrior. And she's gonna pray this morning and we're going to intercede for our young people. Uh, we're seeing too much, too much, too much. And I believe that God is gonna do this thing. Good morning, Sister D, in the name of Jesus. Before, um, before we pray, I believe that we are going to push Push on this atmosphere. I want you, if you're able to, and if you desire to, um, I want you, if you're able to, to push the share button. Push the share button because I believe that my generation and your generation and every millennial and every young person that is awake needs to hear our guest speaker this morning or our guest prayer leader this morning. She is a millennial, a millennial minister. And she is a lawyer that has the ear, her ear to God and the ear to young people. So let me share our focus. We're praying for our young people this morning. I was nervous. I was nervous here in my heart. And I know this is also your prayer. I was nervous. I was frightened. I was concerned and I was angered, but sin not as I watched a looting scene that was on the news of a young toddler, a young toddler that was in the arms of a young person while they were breaking the law. I, I, I wondered firstly, what lesson was just taught to that young person or what lesson was just taught to that toddler, to that child? And then I thought, what could be in the mind of an individual to take a child into the heart of danger to watch them and others break the law. I understand, <clears throat> I understand being angry, I understand being full. The Bible declares you, you can be angry, but sin not. Here was a young person teaching by example, the next generation. And I pray this gets to your heart. The reason why it does is because we don't wanna perpetuate, perpetuate what's going on, perpetuate not just the lawlessness, but perpetuate that spirit, the spirit to where uh, we bring the law against us or upon us. This toddler that was in the arms of a young person that was breaking the law is learning how to break the law. So what do you think if God allows many more years, what do you think that that toddler is going to do if we don't get a hold to them, if we don't intercede? What is on the mind? What is on the mind of our young people? What did we miss? We can't always blame it um, on them. What did we miss? What did we miss? Mm. I quickly stopped and I began to question myself when I saw this. Question myself, a baby boomer 
What did my and the preceding generations miss? What did we ignore? So then why did they resort to looting, to rioting, to violence? Because all of this, hear me, I understand the anger, huh? the anger over the death of George Floyd and over the death of those that passed in the arms of lawlessness before a couple days ago. I understand that. But I understand too that protesting and loot, looting are not the same thing. Some have run out to be lawless because something else is going on in the inside. What did we miss? It has to be the re regurgitating of an inner cry. Who or what has the ear that speaks louder to them than God? I wanna share this passage before I bring a prayer warrior on. Proverbs chapter one, it says this. And in this passage, God is taking on the character of paternal authority to caution young people. And this passage stood out in my mind as never before. It says this, Proverbs chapter one, beginning at verse eight, it says, listen, my son, to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adore, adorn your neck. Here's the instructions to the young. My son, hear this. If sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and a hole, like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our houses with plunder. Cast lots with them, or let's all take the same risk. And then, verse 14, we will share the loot. Verse 15, my son. This is godly authority speaking. Do not go along with them. Do not set foot on their paths for their feet rush into evil. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to spread a net where every bird can see. These men lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. In other words, you lie in wait to pounce upon another, but not realizing that you're setting a trap for yourself. These are the words written in the law, in the Bible. Verse 19, such are the paths of all who go after ill-gotten. It takes away the life of those who get it. The temptation to follow the crowd, to be moved by peer pressure was not just lately, but was on the mind of God even then to share with others, to be cautious. How can the answer, God, be heard over the voice of another? I'm getting ready to bring on, hallelujah, our young person focusing and praying on the needs of young people. We would be honored to have with us a millennial in the trenches, Minister Ariana Anderson. I'm going to bring her on. We're going to pray with her in the name of Jesus, calling on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hello. Good, hello. Morning. Good, good morning, Minister Ariana. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Mom? I'm doing well. You have, I introduced to the uh, the intercessors, to the God seekers, uh, you, and now we're ready for you to take it from at this moment, to take this leg of our prayer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I was watching you, and um, I have to admit, while I was preparing and trying to gather my thoughts and think about, you know, what to share, what to say about, you know, your question of where did we 
go wrong or what did we miss? I want to first just pose this thought to everyone who's listening this morning on the line. And, and we um, thank you so much um, to all of you who are joining us this morning. This is um, really awesome and amazing. But um, I just want you all to keep in mind that millennials um, make up the age group of individuals who are between 24 and 39. So we are very um, interesting, a very distinctive um, age group or group of people. Um, like I said, while I was thinking about what to say this morning, um, I found that I became very restless early this morning and last night. Um, I was just looking at all the different things that are going on um, across this country, um, the different uh, countries that outside of the U.S. that are protesting and that are standing in solidarity with this um, Black Lives Matter movement. But um, it became very hurtful to me, um, and, I, and I found myself crying um, at all of the videos and all of the footage of um, the protesting and protesters being sprayed with mace and shot with rubber bullets. It was devastating to see um, these videos of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery resurface. And when I began to think about this question of where did we go wrong and what's happening, um, we are hurting right now. Um, you have to understand that for people who are millennials, the people who are in my age group, we have a unique experience in that we remember the world before um, these incidents of police brutality and different things like that um, became televised and, and recorded so frequently. We remember the world before the Eric Gardners, before the Trayvon Martins. Um, so we remember what we thought was normal, what we thought was peace, when we thought that everything was, was okay. And we remember when we were in our teens, when we were 16, when we were 17, when we were 18, and, and we saw the videos, and we remember the call. Um, we remember the news footage of Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown, and we remember that shit. Um, so we have a unique experience in that we we witnessed the turning point um, for uh, what we think of now as a modern day Jim Crow. Um, what's different between my generation and, and let's say your generation, mom, and the generation that came before us, we are missing the voices of our mothers and fathers. Mm. And I know that that may be difficult and, you know, what do you mean? And I don't get it. You know, um, we're, we're, we're talking in our churches. There's a lot of good words. There's a lot of good ministries sure. that are out. If you think about what it was like um, for someone who, um, when, when you were coming up in the church, mom, or, or um, you, you had the mothers and you had people who would come up to you and they would show you the way had a sense of direction, you had somebody to guide you. If you look at all the marches and the things that are going on right now, there is no leadership. There is no predominant uh, voice of wisdom and reason that is guiding these young people. There's no one out there to say, no, this is how we do this. No, this is not how we do this. Um, and that's just not, you know, reflective and these riots and different things like that, that's reflective um, across the board. We need your voices. You know, there's a time when people say that um, when, when the sons have to become fathers, it's time as, as some of our um, older saints, some of our mothers uh, and our fathers in the gospel have transitioned or begin to transition. Um, we need those voices of leadership. We need to be helped. So gone are the days of, of, the, of the pointing the finger and saying millennials are doing this, millennials are doing this, or our young people are doing that. But now is the time more than ever where our mothers and our fathers have to speak up to us and help us. 
We need our moms. We need our dads because we are hurting. We are devastating. And, and everything has ensued in chaos because we need your help and we need your voice. We've been trying to figure out how to handle our emotions and how to handle the situation on our own. But now it's time for you to help us, show us the way, correct us. We can't be afraid of each other, correct us, speak to us, communicate with us, pull us in, let us know you're covering us, get out there with us, tell us that this is the way, tell us that this isn't the way. The Bible says in Hebrews 13 and 17 that we are to obey our spiritual leaders and submit to those uh, who we recognize as being authority figures over us, for they are keeping watch over your souls and continually guarding you against spiritual warfare we need the guards we need the the, the the ones that are keeping watch over our soul to step up and to cover us and to be vocal and to take their place as their mother as, as the mothers and the fathers that they are so so my prayer this morning is that there will be a sense of unity and that there will be a level of of guidance and structure that comes upon us um that our leaders will take the forefront um so that our young people have a voice of reason and they have a, a way to follow and they're not figuring it out by themselves and and on the back end of trying to figure it out on themselves uh producing chaos um so i'm going to begin to pray and i ask that you all would pray with me that you know, the spirit of unity will be able to um, overtake us and also that, you know, our mothers and our fathers will begin to um, to hold our hand and to show us the way. Um, so, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise on this morning uh, just for being God, just for being who you are. We thank you, God, for this opportunity to seek your face and to come before your throne, God. God, we bless you on this morning. We're coming to you as your children, God, because we need your help, God. This nation is crying out. This generation is crying out, God. It seems as if we are hurting and we don't know which way to turn. So we've just begun uh, to, to go crazy as it would seem, God. But I ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would send and rise up voices of reason and instruction for our young people, for our millennials, in the name of Jesus, that we would be able to know which way is the right way, God. I ask, oh God, that the voice of wisdom, oh God, will speak louder, oh God, than our emotions, oh God, that we will have order, God, in the name of Jesus, that we will have guidance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We speak against the spirit of destruction and frustration, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that may be trying to do more harm than good in this season, God. We are hurting, oh God, in the name of Jesus, but you said, let all things be done with decency and in order, God. You have given, oh God, the old man dreams and visions, God, but we need their voices, oh God, to speak up, to show us which way it is to go, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will bring order, that you will bring structure, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Speak to us concerning what it is that we need to do and which way we need to go. Let us not be fearful of each other, oh God, but in the name of Jesus, let us come together as never before, oh God. Oh God, I ask that you would give all of our young people an ear to listen and a heart to receive, O oh God, that which is necessary. Let us be able to receive wise counsel, O oh God, in this season, in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh God, that you will put the voice and the words of wisdom, O oh God, in the mouths of the generations that came before us, O oh God. Allow for them to rise up, O oh God, and become the fathers and the mothers, O oh God, that you ordained and predestined for them to be, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to begin to walk in purpose, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We stop, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, and we get ahead of the spirit of destruction. We will not burn this country down, oh God, in the name of Jesus, but we will rise up, oh God, in unity, in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of chaos and destruction right now, in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of rage, oh God, 
right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we speak, oh God, peace over this nation now in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of hatred, God, in the name of Jesus. But we speak that love will prevail, oh God. That your voice, that your word, oh God, that your instruction, that your heart, oh God, will begin to scream so loudly, oh God. We speak, oh God, that this entire movement will not bring destruction, God, but we will it will bring revival, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let not the voices of rage and hatred, oh God. Be louder than your word, oh God, but show us how to love one another. Show us how to walk in purpose and with dignity and with honor, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let us learn to do good and to seek justice, oh God, and to help the oppressed, oh God. Let us be angry and sin not, oh God. Oh God, we know that we are humans and we have human emotions, Lord God. Let us not push our feelings to the side, oh God. We acknowledge that we are hurting as a nation, as a body, as a people. Oh God, oh God, but there is no hurt that you cannot heal. There is no place that you cannot touch. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, there is no mindset that you cannot shift. You can speak, oh God, to the heart of someone who is filled with hatred or racism, oh God, and shift that thing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you have all power and all authority, oh God, to change paradigms and mentalities and systems, oh God, in the name of Jesus. It's only by your blood and by your power, oh God, that we'll be able to push into this next season, oh God, in the name of Jesus. It's only you who deserves the glory and the honor, not a man, not a woman, God. So we speak, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will rise up leaders, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will uh, put wisdom in their hearts and in their mouths, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they will guide us, as, oh God, how we should go, oh God, bless every leader, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for there being a shift, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the outcome and the direction of this movement. We speak it now in the name of Jesus. We speak in the realm of the spirit, oh God, that the mentality and the attitude and the feelings towards these protests will begin to shift. We shift it now in the spirit. We declare that this spirit of destruction will not be able to prevail, oh God, but we declare, oh God, a turnaround in this entire situation. We declare that it will look different, that we'll be able to march and protest and think and speak to each other differently, that this thing, oh God, will take a turn for the better instead of a turn for the worse, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We speak to every city, we speak to every state that has protests going on right now in the name of Jesus. We speak that there will be no more death, oh God, but we speak that the ears of the legislatures and the governors will be open to our voices, oh God. We speak that we will demonstrate peace and love even in the face, oh God, of hatred, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We know that love covers a multitude of sins, oh God. We thank you that these protests will promote change, oh God, and not destruction, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We call, oh God, on your spirit. You said that you are the Prince of Peace, oh God. So we demand that the spirit of peace will walk up and down our streets, all throughout our neighborhood, God, all throughout downtown, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We speak that the spirit of peace will be present at every protest, oh God. We speak, oh God, to the mouth of the nation and those who would incite violence, oh God. We bind up that spirit now in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we speak, oh God, that the voice of reason, oh God, will begin to penetrate the minds of young people and those who decide to march, even now in the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we speak, oh God, in the name of Jesus, against the spirit that would have America completely turn itself inside out and cause its own demise. We command, oh God, that this, that this spirit, oh God, will not be able to prevail in the name of Jesus. But we declare, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that America, oh God, will be able to shift its eyes, oh God, towards heaven, towards you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God in the name of Jesus, and we declare that all these things are so, and that it is well, and that it is true, oh God. We expect peace. We expect the shift. We expect the turnaround, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and we expect, oh God, revival in this country instead of destruction, God. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor, and we give your name the praise, oh God, for all of these things. And it's in Jesus' name, we declare it as so. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh God, Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord God. Hallelujah for not being 
in the name of Jesus, in the place that we needed to be in order to hear their voices. Oh God, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, dear God. Hallelujah. For preaching, preaching. But not hearing, not hearing that they need to hear our voices in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord God, for not being in the place that we need to be. In order, Lord God, to pull our young people up in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you right now. Hallelujah. To make us more sensitive in the name of Jesus to the next generation. Lord God, that is already our leaders that are already, Lord God, the church of today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, dear God, give us another opportunity in the name of Jesus to be who you have called us to be. Father, I hear your word that declares to let the women, Lord God, be examples and let the fathers be examples to the sons in the name of Jesus. And God, we're going to turn this around. Hallelujah. So that what we see in the atmosphere, what we see, Lord God, on the streets are not repeated in the next generation. In the name of Jesus, oh God, uh, we speak, Lord God, victory in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord God, uh, that the next voice is in the name of Jesus, that we'll go forth in the world. Uh, hallelujah. We'll be led by an example in the name of Jesus. And for this, God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we give you honor. God, we magnify your name. God, we praise you. Hallelujah. To the only wise God, our Savior. Hallelujah. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence. God, you showed up to hear us in the name of Jesus, calling upon you for our young people. God, in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge and we recognize that we need you. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah for our young people. God, we pray. We pray for the spirit of repentance in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help them, Lord God, to see. Hallelujah that it is you that they need. That real change in the name of Jesus is going to come through you. Hallelujah. Hey, Messiah. Oh, God, let us have been enough of an example. Enough of an example of you in our actions and in our words, God, that they would see that God, having God in their lives is a beautiful thing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that it is more power in the name of Jesus than it is. Than it is. Hallelujah. In showing your authority and showing your power, your might of your own self out in the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for a submission unto you. In the name of Jesus, a yielding of our young people. Hi. A yielding of our young people over to you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, touch their hearts and touch their minds. Hallelujah. I speak it in the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I need you to war with me, intercessors. Hallelujah for our young people. Oh God, I ask you to save them in the name of Jesus. I ask you, dear God, to heal their inner man. Hallelujah. Heal the cry. Heal the hurt in the name of Jesus. Hurt is coming up because of abuse. In the name of Jesus, heal them. Hurt is coming up, Lord God, because somebody ignored them. In the name of Jesus, heal. Heal, God. Hallelujah. Hurt is coming up. It's being voiced and actioned because, Lord God, of low self-esteem, because of violations unto them. Hallelujah. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, dear God, to Heal them. Hallelujah. Oh God, heal them in the name of Jesus. Heal them, Lord God. If you heal the inner man, Messiah. Oh God, it will affect change on the outside. I ask you, dear God, to heal those that are mad at you. They're mad at you, God, because of what they think you did unto them. Oh yeah, Messiah. 
mad, Lord God, and don't want anything to do with you, dear God. Don't want anything to do with hearing you. Hallelujah, but God, ah, Lord, I ask you to help us as the older generation that when we open our mouths, it's not negativity about another child of God. Hallelujah, that's affecting, Lord, our young people. They hear us, Lord God, talking about one another. Uh, they hear us talking about the church. They hear us talking about our leaders. And God, they're growing up and not wanting anything to do with our God because we say one thing. Hallelujah, but we do another. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit of sowing discord. In the name of Jesus, and we will be unified. Hallelujah, we will watch our words from here on. In the name of Jesus, and we will go back and repent. We will ask them for forgiveness, God, for what we have said and what we have done. Hallelujah, that sowed a spirit of negativity against you, dear God. Some of them, God, have turned atheist. Some of them have turned to be agnostics. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, but I ask you, God, to show yourself mighty and show yourself strong unto them in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, give them a good experience with you. Hallelujah. Undeniable experience that no matter what anybody says, oh, dear God, that they will turn to you. Hallelujah. They will understand if they can turn to nobody else. God, they can turn to you. Oh, God, I ask you to give them purpose in the name of Jesus. Give them direction. Give them guidance in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, while they're laying down, if they cannot hear you standing up, God, I ask you that when they lay down in the name of Jesus, when they lay down to rest, hallelujah, I ask you to speak into their hearts and speak into their minds. Give them peace and give them direction. Oh, God, remind them, Lord God, of the dream that you gave to them some time ago to be a positive asset into the community. God, in the name of Jesus, we believe in you, Lord God. Your purposes shall prevail. They will not go to the grave full of gifts and full of talents. In the name of Jesus, they will not fill the grave up, hallelujah, with positive energy. But God, they will turn. Hallelujah. My soul, how a lineal prayer, my lineal prayer leader said, it will turn, and we declare and decree, Lord God, according to the word that you put in her mouth and in her heart, that it shall change in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we speak hope, we speak peace in the name of Jesus into their hearts and into their lives. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our young black men, in the name of Jesus, that are now babies, that are now toddlers, that are now youth, hallelujah, that are now young people, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, they will be protected. They will be covered. They will not repeat in the name of Jesus, the past generation. Oh, God, we pray for positive friendships for them. In the name of Jesus, those that want to do the right thing. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray, hallelujah, for every young people, every young person, every young person in our home. Every young person, Lord God, in our schools, every young person, Lord God, on our jobs, in the name of Jesus, we will not pass them by. We will not ignore them in the name of Jesus. But God, we declare and decree, hallelujah, that their lives are changed, changed for the better in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we speak against rioting, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We speak against looting young people, that's not the way. Hallelujah, that's not the way. We see your anger. Hallelujah, but you need to open your mouth. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wrap your arms, Lord God, around our young people.
people in the name of Jesus. Let them feel your love more than ever before. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I speak against every adversary. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus that has their target at the head of young people. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that no weapon that's formed against them shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, oh God, but they will rise up, rise up even in the midst, Lord God, of difficult situations and difficult things. They will rise up, I am my soul, and shake off, Lord, every enemy in the name of Jesus and become who you have called them to be. Oh God, I speak peaceful protest in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, unhindered by those who choose to have war. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we declare and decree, hallelujah, that it shall be. Hallelujah, we thank you. We praise you, God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for what you're doing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, we praise you, God, we give you the glory, we give you the honor in the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah, we speak against that spirit, Lord, that wants, 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 but don't want to work for it, in the name of Jesus, and then young people that are working for it. Hallelujah. Let it not be taken from them. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. We let God speak to the hurt again in the name of Jesus. And we ask you dear God to heal them. Heal our young people God. Heal our young people. I am a soy am. Oh God. And it is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. And it shall not be reversed. In the name of Jesus. It is so it is so it is so oh god and we thank you oh god and we bless you oh god and we magnify your name in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah oh now god in the name of jesus hallelujah before we get off this line god we want to pray for the prayer request in the name of jesus we pray lord god hallelujah that you do a, tur- a great turnaround in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, against the spirit, Lord God, of confusion, the spirit of control, the spirit of stealing and lying, the spirit of cheating and backbiting. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, for a grieving nation. Hallelujah. Oh, God, while there have been made charges, hallelujah, we ask you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that they be brought to justice. Hallelujah. That they be brought to justice in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and I ask you, even for those police officers, God, I ask you to save them. Save them. Fill them with your spirit. Oh, God, let them turn and ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Not only for what they've done here, but what they've done in the past in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, save them. Save them. Hallelujah. Save them in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Brianna. Hallelujah. I pray for Joseph. I pray for Bishop and Lady Brooks and the PAW in the name of Jesus. I pray for marriages. Hallelujah. I pray for young people that are married, trying to be parents. God, I ask you to guide them in the name of Jesus. Allow them to have a mentor that guides them positively. How to be an example of Christ in the church in their marriage. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, again, hallelujah, for Sister Kimberly Benson. I pray for Pastor Thomas Gaines, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, for Pastor Robert Moore. God, heal his body in the name of Jesus. Let there be, Lord God, a healing from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. I pray for Aaron and Lakeisha Tyson. I pray for Sean Moore, for the Wilms and Dumas family. I pray for Shoni in the name of Jesus. I pray for Elder Norman Tyree. God, touch 
the body. I pray, Lord God, for every first responder. I pray, Lord God, for every police officer. Lord God, that's making a positive effect. In the name of Jesus, cover them with your blood. Keep them, Lord God, in all of their ways. Hallelujah. Yes, show yourself strong, dear God. I pray, Lord, for the Lippins family. Heal Clarence Clay. I pray for Janie Page in the name of Jesus. Salvation in the White House. Hallelujah. I pray for Mason and Madison Chipley. Oh, God. I pray in the name of Jesus for peace in Minnesota. Peace in Indianapolis. Peace in Chicago. Peace, Lord God, in China. It's affecting all over the world. I pray, Lord God, for peace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for victory. Hallelujah for victorious healing. In the victorious healing in the name of Jesus. I pray for Don Simmons and family. Oh God, for Leela Williams. Oh God, you know the need in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What even is not spoken. God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to do a work, Lord God, that would confound the doctors in the name of Jesus that they would have to step back and declare that that was not my hand, but that was God in the name of Jesus and bring them, Lord God, to an understanding that there is a God and that they are not God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for Bethesda Apostolic Church in the name of Jesus, for Francis Johnson and family, for the Cooper, Bailey, Coker, Edmonds, Mosley, James Young, Logan family, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Suffolk and Bishop Cooper in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for all of our pastors. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would keep them and continue, Lord God, to give them the words to declare, the words to speak that will be positive change in the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jaslyn, for Trey, for Serenity, and for Andrew in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for peace in Fort Worth in the name of Jesus. I pray for Darius Smith and family. I pray for Bethel United, for Deshaun Chipley in the name of Jesus. I pray for Ashley Courtney, Gabrielle, Alfred the Third, Candice, Camille, Kayla, Addison, Aaron, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. For Clarence Kern, for Erica and kidney issues, for the widows and widowers, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, strengthen them, lift up their bow down head, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask you to allow them to feel your presence where they are, feel the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. And we declaring and decreeing that it is so. Hallelujah. Oh God, I pray for Tanya Rhodes in the name of Jesus. I pray for our missionaries abroad. Hallelujah. Cover them, keep them in the name of Jesus. For Maxine and for Ernie, for Keisha Tony, for Joshua Rhodes, for Rose Johnson in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing, Lord God, for Elder Birch. Hallelujah. From the top of his head to the sole of his feet. God, you get the glory. 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 In all of this, God, we seek your glory. Hallelujah. We seek that you get the glory. In the name of Jesus, that you be magnified. Not us, Lord God, but that you be magnified. That your presence be known in the earth. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for Jadish, Jalen, and Vern Jr. Hallelujah. For glory. Gwendolyn, for Clarence Oliver, the Croft family. God, we pray for Bishop Leon Pettis and family. God, we pray for Bishop James Christopher Brewer in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for the COVID-19 victims. Heal, Lord God. Hallelujah. God, we pray not one more, not one more COVID-19 individual that becomes positive. Hallelujah. But we thank you, God, for the turnaround. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. You're healing. I saw you. We pray, Lord God, for the McKnight family, for the Goke and the Simmons, the Bell, the White family, in the name of Jesus, for Lucille, Jim, Lucille Dimmings, for every ministry.
ministry to be effective in the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, oh God, protect the news reporters and let them record good things. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. We pray for Cynthia and her healing. Hallelujah for Evangelist Yvonne Milton. Hallelujah for the Faith Place Church. In the name of Jesus, oh God, for James and Dolores Turner and the entire family. God, and we declare and decree that it is so. For all of the requests, Lord God, that are coming in, we pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, cover them. Hallelujah. For those who are getting ready to, are trying to, thinking about committing suicide. Hallelujah. Let them hear a positive word. Let them see a positive thing that would turn their hearts around in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're declaring and decreeing that it is so. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we pray for our intercessors. Cover them in the name of Jesus. Keep them in their going out and in their coming in. In their down sitting and in their uprising. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cover them as they go through their day. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you be glorified. Hallelujah. You be glorified. In the name of Jesus. I need somebody to begin to put in the air that it is so. We're declaring and decreeing that it is so. It is so. It is so. And God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we magnify you. God, we lift you up. God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Until we come together again on tomorrow at 5 a.m. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.